right, nobody will disagree. He's charming, he's funny, he's talented, he's a sex symbol, and he has devoted fans around the world, <laughs> just like us. We are talking about our good friend, Ricky, Ricky Gervais. Gervais. And as you probably know, Ricky played the socially inept David Brent on the hit <laughs> British comedy, although a great dancer, a, sh a show he not only starred in, but created, wrote, and directed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the office was something. Now he's back, and not oh. better than ever. In the new film, it's called David Brent, Life on the Road. Take a look. The Sorry, believe me, but um, he is the worst person um, around women I think I've ever seen. Uh, our stuff is terrible. Uh, you know? this, that is cringe. This film is is cringy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's funny, but it's and it's a bit sad as well. Right here, in, in a nutshell, tell well, us about what David has now done since so, he's. So now he's not the boss anymore. He's a he's a tampon rep up and down the country, <laughs> selling like urinal lozenges and all this sort of stuff. And he wants he wants to do one last attempt at fame. So he's cashed in pensions. He's paying for session musicians. He's hiring the venues, and he wants to be a rock star. And he he's just, even paying people to drink with him. I know. It's it's so sad, but it's that thing, you know, that I'll say. It's, he, he wants to do anything to sort of be famous. So right. uh, you know, and his, this documentary dream catches up with him, and he thinks it's going to be better this time. It, but it's even worse because it's even sadder and well, cringier. It's, it's funny to watch the audience watching your character perform. <laughs> yeah. It's like everyone's deadpan. And you just and keep everybody pushing knows through. That it's I know. awful, but but you, do but you David. Know, do you know it's awful? When no, you're I mean David. Oh yeah, oh David. Oh no, David. <laughs> Oh, I do, yeah. But da <laughs> <laughs> do you know that you basically suck? <laughs> no, David doesn't. He means it. He he tries he's... his best. He just gets up. I, and I sort of admire him because he, he's yeah. trying to do something, and we're sort of laughing at the blind spot, really. The you know the difference between how he sees himself and how we see him. But, but you there know, are a lot of people in the world like there's that. There's so many, and now everyone wants to be famous. We've had all those reality shows since. The office. We've had The Apprentice, you know. The Bachelor. Uh, yeah. yeah, The Bachelor, where people will do anything to be on telly. Like <laughs> to take your. <laughs> what did that look? Like? To take your, we know your hit show and turn it into a movie. Is it? Is that ever? Do you ever say, you know, let's just leave well enough alone? That was um, it was. Uh, it was good that I left it that long yeah. and did other stuff. Um, yeah. But it, what was good about it is that it, the world's changed yeah. in 15 years. So. Even though back in the office we were sort of laughing at Brent for being a bit of a narcissist and yeah. a show off, but now by today's standards, he's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Now there's a super narcissist around, yeah. you know. But he knows time is running out. That's the he thing. Does so there's know. a desperation there about is, it. There is a desperation, and um, and he's sort of looking for something, and uh, he, he he may or may not find it uh, without giving too much away. But yeah. it's a fun journey. And your, your sympathies are more with him than they were in the office, and, in a way. And it could be a franchise, because it doesn't. It ends with a sort of a who knows. Who knows? Who knows? I always like to leave a flavor of sort of hope. Yes. I think we need, I think we need hope in the world. <laughs> Desperately, I think, I we, think do. we need hope in the world. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. And you know what's cool, too? The music on this, which when you're listening to it, you go, huh? But it <laughs> sold in England like crazy, mm. the yeah, CD, did, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, the, the album number did, three in the UK. Yeah, no, it did really well in the real charts. I, I feel sorry for real bands. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We got beaten in the charts by David Brent. Imagine that. You've worked hard, you're a great musician, and a tampon rep, a fictional, a fictional tampon rep beats you. Not even a real one. <laughs> I know, exactly. No, but it's great fun, and I, I did, we did some gigs in England. They were huge, and it's, it was like being at a Queen concert. They were singing along. Oh, you're They're kidding. in on the gag. No, it's amazing. Oh, in fun. real life, it's no. just so much fun. So I'd, I'd love to come back, and when this is out on Netflix... And sing, yes. And sing this, on the and, plaza. Oh, come on. You've yeah. got to. Oh, that would we be will good. share you with the other three hours. I will rock this joint. <laughs> you will rock it. We love you, Stick Ricky. around for Spanky Tuesday. You really do I'm leaving. To <laughs> <laughs> it's called David Brent, Life on the Road. It'll be streaming on Netflix February 10th. You don't All even right. have... It's coming out the same time. Is the, the, the 50, 50 shades, shades darker? Yeah, you guys are out at the I've same got, time. I've, I've got to watch it. I haven't, I've missed it. I've got to watch well, that. There's well, two films they can watch. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.